I want to show you how to use the scheduled payments for payables in Dynamics GP. Scheduled payments allows you to take an existing invoice in payables and structure a payment plan so that you can easily pay that amount over a period of time. So let's take a look at it. The first thing I want to do is post payables invoice. So here's a new invoice I have for $100,000. I'm going to post this in GP. It's going to post into my payables. Here's what my payables aging looks like with that $100,000 invoice in there. But what I want to do is I want to call up my vendor and ask him if I can pay that $100,000 over a 10 month period. So he agrees to do that and he says, I'll do that for you if you pay me 8% interest compounded annually. So let's do that. Let's set that up. We'll see how that works in GP. So what I'll do is I'll create a new schedule payments. I'll go to the schedule payments transaction in purchasing. And I'll create a new schedule. I'm going to look up the original document number, that $100,000 invoice. And I can see it's right here, so I'll select that. So I've got this information here. And what I want to do is he's going to charge me 8% interest compounded annually. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to make 10 payments. It's going to be monthly payments. I'm going to calculate the total. So you can see I'll be making 10 payments of $10,000, $370 a piece. I'm going to identify a payables offset account here. It's going to be a balance sheet account because what this will do is it will reverse that account's payable amount. And I want to put it on my balance sheet because I still owe it. It's a liability. So I'll create a balance sheet account for this. And then I am going to have some interest expense. So I'm going to look up interest expense. I'll select that here. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to choose the compound interest rate because that's the one to use. And we can look at the amortization schedule. And we can see this is going to amortize out over 10 periods. And you can see the amount of interest in each period, the amount of principal in each period as well. So let's go ahead and post that. And this is what my aging looks like right now. I have the $100,000 document listed here, but the totals aren't in the aging. Because when I posted that payment schedule, it reversed the payables amount and put that into the balance sheet account that I had identified. Now that I've rescheduled that $100,000 invoice, what I can do is I can schedule one of the 10 payments. To do that, I'll go to Post Schedule Payments. Here I've got all the payments scheduled. I'm just going to select one to post now, and we'll take a look at what that looks like. So let's go ahead and post that. And now this is what my payables aging looks like. I have that one payment for $10,370 on my aging. The rest of that amount is on the balance sheet in the other account. So this is how I can take a payables invoice and I can reschedule it for a number of different payments out into the future. So let's take a look at the journal ledger impact of this. So this is the first journal entry that was created. This happened when I posted the payables invoice for $100,000. You can see that it debited an expense account and it credited the whole amount to accounts payable. This is the journal entry that was created when I set up the schedule of payments for the entire $100,000. You can see that it reverses the accounts payable and moves that amount to another account. In this case, I specified a specific balance sheet account. You can see that here. And finally, this is the journal entry that was created when I posted that one of 10 payments back into my accounts payable aging. You can see that here. It creates the payables amount, recognizes the interest expense, and reduces the balance sheet account that I had the entire $100,000 in before. So this is one way that you can handle a large payables invoice in GP. If it's too much to pay right away, you can negotiate with your vendor. And if he agrees, then you can set up a schedule of payments to make out in the future. You can have those roll naturally through your accounting system your agent will be up to date to show you the current balance of those items.